Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We covered this Orpheus TTS model in great detail few days back. We not only installed it locally, but we also saw how to fine tune it on a custom data set. Plus we also checked it out from various angles. In this video, I am going to address one question which was asked quite often. Thankfully, someone has gone in and created this tool which primarily allows you to run this Orpheus TTS model in streaming mode on your CPU. That's right, you don't really need a GPU. By using this on Linux, Windows or Mac, you can simply run it on CPU. Make sure that you have 8 GB to 16 GB of RAM plus a good decent modern GPU and you should be sweet to go. This tool Orpheus CPP is based on Llama.CPP so it means that it is simple C++ implementation in Python port in order to get it running. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. So let me take you to my VS code where I will be showing you how to get started. Now this is my Windows system. So for Windows, I'm, I have just opened this in Git bash. You can simply open it in PowerShell or your command prod or make sure you open it as an administrator on your local system. So first up, we are going to install this Orpheus CPP by using this pip install command and the Orpheus CPP is installed. Next up, we need to install Llama CPP Python and I'm just using it with CPU as you can see towards the end. And it is going to take a bit of a time. Meanwhile, let's go back to our uh, Llama Orpheus.cpp and let's talk a bit more about this. So if you don't know about what exactly this Orpheus model is. This is one of the, I would say, quite performant model, which is an open source text to speech system that's been built on Llama 3 billion backbone. Orpheus demonstrates the emergent capabilities of using LLMs for speech synthesis, and that really uh, differentiates it from the rest of the lot. And if you're interested in learning more about its architecture, just search my channel. And let me also quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And Llama CPP is now installed. Next up, let's install FastRTC. FastRTC is a very nifty project which I already have covered on the channel. It's a real-time communication library for Python. It turns any Python function into a real-time audio and video stream over WebRTC or WebSockets. So let's install it. And that's done. I have now the latest version of FastRTC. And that is all the installation. Next up, simply run this command. What this is going to do, this is going to run this Orpheus CPP on your local system as a Gradio demo and this is going to download the model Orpheus TTS in context format the first time you run it. So you see the first time when you run it, it is going to download the model. The model is just around 2.36 gig in size. So let's wait for it. And the model is almost downloaded. And after the download, just in a llama.cpp style, it is now going to be served on our local system with that llama cpp engine. And there you go, it is now running on our local host at port 7860 as you can see here. So let me access it in my browser. And there you go, Orpheus TTS is running. And let me make it a bit bigger so that you could also see what is happening. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, so let me click here to access to access my microphone and I'm going to allow it and I will start speaking. Hello there. Hello. Just let's just wait for it. Hello, how are you? 
so i've just stopped it so look it works but it takes long time on cpu i can tell you and i won't uh, in real time i couldn't show you but it took around five minutes just to say hello how are you so it is no fast streaming by any means it is quite a good tool quite a good effort you can see that it does provide you this interface to create a streaming app but if you're running it on cpu be ready to uh, face this sort of latency so but the good thing is that you can use it for other purposes for example you can it in, in your python code to generate or you know audio or recording but if that is your purpose then i would highly suggest that instead of using this orpheus.cpp or even orpheus model just go to my channel and search for coin 2.5 omni which i believe you should be able to find which i did just did the video yesterday and today that is a much much better model in terms of audio generation but anyway if you're looking to use this model this is how you use it but it comes with a lot of latency be aware of it another thing is that you can also change these voices from here which is quite good so you can go with zach mia zoe and all that stuff so and then it's your choice you can also change the prompt if you like for example you just click on generate prompt and this is what i was talking about when i said that you can use it with llm and behind the scene it uses a large language model to generate this so i just asked it that i just spilled coffee all over my favorite shirt this morning how do i clean it and this is the response I just spilled coffee all over my favorite shirt this morning. So see, so it just converted it into this speech, which is not bad at all. And it, it has also changed the voice. And you can simply run this in this mode too. So it just provides a quite a good GUI. But again, I think there is so much latency on CPU that it almost makes it unworkable, at least for me. But if you are willing to tolerate that latency, go for it now if you like the content please do me a favor and share the content among your network please subscribe to the channel and thanks for all the support